Hey guys, Julian from SynthwavePro.com. Thank you so much for joining me today in this Synthwave tutorial. Let's discuss ways to create melodies. Now, sometimes when I don't have any ideas when it comes to a melodic lead line, I'll often create a set of parameters that I need to follow or guidelines in order to get the task done. So I will pick a random number, for instance, three, and I will force myself to create a three note motif thus leading to the creation of a melody and subsequent melodic lines that we can sort of weave in and out of our production. So let's play the song in context and then we can dive deeper. get the picture. So what I've done here is I've used three notes to define my melody. So this is what the lead line sounds like. One, two, three, 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 etc., etc. Okay. So that was a starting point. And from there we can build subsequent melodic lines to accompany this melodic lead line. For instance, our bell channel here. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three, basically a six note motif, but it's still within the confines of a multiple of three. So together, these guys sound like this. All right, this is a great exercise to get into the habit of doing if you're struggling to come up with melodic lines. Obviously, it's a starting point. Your melody can always evolve throughout the production. But if you're really stuck and you want to get something going, I recommend starting off with a three note motif or possibly a four note motif. Moving on to this other section here, I continue with the three note motif when it comes to our stab. One, two, three, one, two, three. Of course, they are layered. All right, so these are layered. We have some dual tones here playing at the same time, but ultimately it is still a three note motif that just repeats itself. It's still the same rhythmic element here. And together with our melodic lead, it sounds like this. Now, the cool thing is that we've leveraged our lead line here, which originally sounded like this. And now when our stabs come in, it sounds like this. All we've really done is manipulate the length of our notes here. So if I zoom in here, you'll see that we are playing essentially the same melodic line. So this is the same melodic or quote unquote genetic material that's making up our lead line. The only difference is I've come in here and I've shortened the notes. This isn't a low pass filter or anything. It's just me grabbing all of these notes and shortening them to the point where the filter can't really open up. So you just hear the very mid range of the frequency spectrum. As opposed to this. All right, so this is a great way of leveraging the material you already have. You don't always necessarily have to pull in another plugin and create another melodic line, although that is useful. You can always leverage this one trick. So when these stabs come in here, our lead line suddenly becomes a sort of warm, soft pad, if you will, slash lead. Just by shortening those notes, as opposed to something like this. All right, here they're clearly fighting, which is why we've reduced the length of those notes. All right, so I just want to pop in real quick and share this technique that has really helped me over the years. Whenever I'm lacking a melody or I don't have a melody circulating in my head, I'll often, you know, come up with these uh, challenges, if you will, where I'll set 
a goal of creating a melody based on four notes or maybe five notes, and I'll build the track out from there. I'll create other instruments or synthesize other uh, parts from scratch and apply that same sort of uh, parameter. All right, so these are some simple techniques that you can apply to your own production and hopefully inspire some more creativity, okay? With that said, guys, that's it for me. If you liked what you saw, give me a like. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. This way you don't miss out on any subsequent Synthwave tutorials. Hit that bell notification button. And with that said, stay safe. I'll see you next time.